Hello everyone, I'm your host Yana Darili, born and raised in New York City. I'm a fitness advocate, lover of food and people, and I like to travel every chance I get. Welcome to Athens, your first stop when visiting Greece. This city is over 7,000 years old and one of the most visited destinations throughout time. We're having a great time, we love Greece, and we want to hear all about the history of Pandrosa Street. Traveling to Athens has never been easier with the state-of-the-art Eleftherios Venizelos Airport. Turn to a woman who knows a thing or two about fancy footwear. Yana Dorillis is producer and host of National Greek Television's only English language news magazine called Hellenic Weekly, where she reports on everything from fashion to city life here in Athens. Hi, Yana, how Athens. are you? Give you the Greek, nice to Greek, see you. Greek Yasu. Yasu, welcome to Greece. Thank Good morning, you. USA. You're very happy to be here. We're very yeah, happy yeah. to have you. These sandals date back to antiquity, as we all know. 3,000 before Christ, they were really recognized in the Olympic Games when athletes would come down from colder climates and they were wearing them. And then the Athenians picked them up. And do they wear them all year round we wear here them, in Greece for well, the most part? Not, or not really, really. Not really all year round. Some styles we wear all because year round. Because it does get a little chilly here, yes. right? Olive oil is our biggest exporter and Greek companies export it. It's extra virgin. That's what makes it so special around the world. It's also therapeutic and a lot of companies like to import it and mix it with their own to get that special taste. <laughs> for the people. It keeps away jealousy and envy. If you don't leave Greece without, you know, with this stuff, you didn't buy anything. <laughs> All Tara's been talking about while she's been in Greece is how hot looking the Greek guys are. Greek guys are like gods. They're hot. Men are hot as hell there too. Well, this is what she's talking about. Water polo is really big here in Greece and these are two professional water polo players. We're in Plaka. And in Plaka, you're going to find a lot of ancient ruins and the new market surrounding the ancient ruins. How much? 13 no, 13. 13. Better, better price. price. Better price. 10 euros. 10 euros. A better price. Better price. You got to keep haggling. It goes down. Ancient Greek replicas. That's the Hercules knot that Alexander the Great broke. And the myth has it that whoever breaks the knot will have the world in his hands. Athens has so much to offer. It has everything. Okay, guys, the best way to get to Ithaki is by bus or car through the city of Patra or through the village of Astakos. You'll just buy an 11 euro ticket, and in three hours, you're on the gorgeous island of Ithaki. Let's go. We've arrived at Patmos, the island of St. John the Theologian. Greece is steeped in rich history and tradition, and Patmos is an integral part of history for the Greek Orthodox religion. Skopelos is so beautiful that the producers of Mamma Mia chose to film many scenes on the island. The highlight of the movie, the wedding scene, was filmed right here at Ayos Ioannis, St. John. Because of that, many couples come to get married here today. There are many steps leading up to the top, but it's totally worth the climb. I love to cook and so I gather as many recipes as I can from every island I go to. And so here I am at Blue Green Bay Hotel with Chef Kosas Panayotou who's going to show me a traditional Skopelitin pie. Legend has it that this is the ancient tree where Hippocrates, the father of medicine, taught his pupils the art of medicine. The ancient Greeks were master pottery makers with unique designs. We came to Nikos Rodios' award-winning pottery workshop, where he continues the legacy of his grandfather and his great-grandfather. His grandfather discovered the ancient Greek black pottery technique, and Nikos continues his contemporary designs inspired by Minoan, Mycenaean, and classical arts. And now we have the pleasure of being with an herbalist, botanist, right here at Naturally Kalimnos. Elias is going to tell us all about the wonderful things he's doing to revive uh, natural medicine. We drove up to the picturesque village of Glossa, which is built amphitheatrically along the mountain slope. It has cobblestone roads and two to three story traditional houses with cute balconies overlooking the sea. Rhodes is known by two names, the Emerald Island for its rich flora and the Island of the Knights. The medieval town and city of Rhodes has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1988. And this is the entrance to the medieval town, which is the oldest inhabited medieval town in all of Europe. 
In the past centuries, Kalinos was famous for its deep sea sponge diving. However, in the 21st century, Kalinos is famous for going up. day, we decided to take advantage of the spa in the hotel, exercise, massage, rejuvenation, and most of all, relaxation. What more can you ask for on vacation? Hellenic Weekly has taken you on quite a tour of Crete, and Ayos Nicolos was our fourth and last stop. Safe for the waters. Are we going to see any sharks out there? Are we going to... Are we going to be, you know, encountering some strange fish? No, no, fish there, are, there are no sharks here. That are no. going to eat us. Oh, okay. it's very safe, actually. It's very safe. No sharks. So it's very safe, and it's that's except great. us. Yeah, except, you know. <laughs> except the Greek sharks. <laughs> After a wonderful tour, we couldn't resist a home-cooked meal at one of the great restaurants. We gave our order, and I decided to invade Maria Loy's kitchen. Maria, I came to find out all your secrets. Yes, Maria. Well, Darren, you know, the Paradise Theater has a lot in common with the Bronx itself. They both have had good and bad times. How do you feel to be back in the Bronx? Back home. It feels great. How do you feel to be back in the Bronx, and how do you feel about the Bronx? Uh, the Bronx is uh, New York. I'm happy to be here in the Bronx. It's been a long time. Any memories from the theater? The memories that Sandy and I, this is my wife Sandy. Hi Sandy, how are you? Sandy and I used to, we used to go up into the balcony and we were intrigued by the clouds mm -hmm. and there were stars that were- and By each other? Intrigued by each other. That's right, we were. But we used to look, remember we looked at the stars and it's one of the most beautiful theaters and it's been renovated. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the live broadcast of the 2013 Greek Independence Day Parade coming to you live on 5th Avenue here from New Greek Television. I am Yana Darili and our co-host is Basil. Hey you guys, we're here at the 46th Street Hudson Terrace Lounge where we're about to go and hang out with some very cool young Italians. Yes, first time ever Young Italian Music Festival right here in New York and it's hosted by Commissione Giovanni. And we are with a very famous Italian singer. I'm very honored to be here with Max D'Angelis. He's very famous in Italy. And we are with another famous Italian, gorgeous pop star, Daniele Stefani. Hello everyone, we're at the Lehman Center of Performing Arts where the Bronx Opera Company has just finished up their annual holiday performance of The Messiah. And guess where everyone's going? They're going to eat! Lots of food, lots of fun right here because we have the taste of the Bronx in the house. We're very honored to have you here. Uh, Mr. Benzels, thank you so much. You gave a wonderful uh, speech here. How important is it for the community uh, to be more aware of safety? I, I think we can never be too much aware. I think when it comes to terrorism, New York City is the number one target for terrorism in, in this country. From the age of 16, Christophe Papagaliatis has been lighting up the TV screens and stages throughout Greece. And now he's here in the United States to debut his first film, What If? which is a wonderful film that is based on the struggles of relationships throughout this trying time of Greece. But love and fate prevails, and Christophe doesn't want to do this interview in English. However, I'm going to insist. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Calimera USA on New Greek Television. His stellar journalism skills earned Anastas an abundance of awards. The Greek-American and renowned journalist has covered the most pivotal news stories over the last three decades. Calimera Ernest. Thank you, Yana. It's so nice to be here. I love you. It's a lie. That music is never going to die. That's Not because right. I'm a rock fan. Now look what I'm wearing. Look at you. That's <laughs> <I> a classic. <laughs> I bought this when I went over and interviewed him years ago. And I just, I saw his show three times. Whoever has not seen Rock of Ages, you are missing out. Oscar award-winning actress, Olympia Dukakis, best known for her roles in Steel Magnolias, Moonstruck, and many more diverse film, television, and theatrical roles. And we are with the specialist, the one and only who's gonna tell us the truth. Should we be sleeping more than four hours? If you think you can sleep four hours, you're the Leonardo da Vinci of our generation. It doesn't happen. Now we're here with Mr. O'Leary, which I do not think sleeps very much. What are your thoughts about the sleep revolution? I have to tell you, I'm really unhappy because Ariana came up with a brilliant idea on this sleep thing. If I had thought of this first, I would have ripped her off. It's such a great idea. This book will become a perennial classic. I'm so jealous that she thought of it first. Now, How could you not have thought of it? Now I'm just pissed off. We cannot wait. Another success story. Tell me, have you visited Greece prior to this film? 
No, never. This was my so far my only trip to Greece was to make this movie. Tell us how you feel to be here tonight, and we know you love Greece. Tell us about Worlds Apart. Well, I'm I'm very interested in seeing the film. I've met the director, and I've seen some of his previous work, and I love J.K. Simmons, so I'm looking forward to it. Professor Connolly, I love your book, The Parthenon Enigma. What a fabulous, fascinating uh, reinterpretation uh, of the friezes. You decoded the sculptures from this uh, universally recognized uh, building that represents Western democracy. Through a lot of advanced technology that we have, we can get you through, get you to be cancer free and move on. Doctor, thank you so much. Gentlemen, you Pleasure. heard it. Exercise, prevention, eat well, PSA every year, and of course, positive thoughts. You're doing wonderful things for the environment, and uh, I wanted to have you here to tell us uh, about raising awareness, uh, how we can make a change, how people can make a change to help save the earth. What are we looking at here today? I love it, it's very Hamptons. This is very Hamptons. You know, you get royal blue. When you match that with the white, it just says summer, it says island, it says Hampton. But we've gone a little retro. The retro is coming back here with the stripe. And never be afraid to wear pocket, always wear pocket square if you want. You I know, love it, I love it. Give it that little. So this is what's in fashion here. We're gonna see a lot of lines, a lot of colors, of neon, the greens. This Absolutely, is neon yeah, neon is making a nice little comeback now. Like if everything comes back for a reason. Can men wear fuchsia? Men cannot wear fuchsia, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so we're gonna bring the best restaurants to you. And here we are in the Flatiron slash Gramercy District with Six Mediterranean Cafe and Grill, Stati Santornacopoulos is the owner and creator of this wonderful concept, and he's gonna bring you some of the summer kind of twist and taste and recipe. Tell some of the most exciting uh, films that you're very interested in. I don't know about most exciting, I love them all. So I don't, I, I find it difficult to choose one over the other. We begin an exercise program. One of the biggest parts of exercise is warm up. Without a warm up, you cannot have a good exercise program going because your body is not ready for it. There's not enough blood to the muscles, right George? We hope you enjoyed our show today. We would love to hear your thoughts on which guests you would like to see in our studio, uh, which topics you found most helpful, and what topics you would like us to cover. And watch out because we'll be coming to your neighborhood soon. Write to us and let us know uh, what you think. Info at newgreektv.com. Thank you guys. We'll see you again on Calimera USA.